Hello, everyone. My name is Nick and uh, better known as Finance Nick. Welcome to my business school uh, training session, uh, an individual approach training, the language of color. Um, in this webinar, we will be classifying uh, different types of people, uh, how to work with them, how to you know, provide arguments for you know, closing a sale, gaining a new partnership or just presenting something to whoever it is that you're presenting to. Um, let's begin. Uh, let's get to know each other a little bit. My name is Nick. Um, I'm a marketing graduate. I graduated from the American University of Dubai um, several years ago now. And I was into business dev since I was quite young. And uh, had I went into my first startup when I was only 15. Been in start, startups ever since. And uh, currently working, you know, working towards a complete passive income lifestyle and already achieved that at, to some point to some level and uh, into investment instruments i'm into you know crypto trading and obviously content creation for you guys i'm also and this is very important an investor and active partner of sincere systems group so let's talk a little bit about you know the subject so we're going to be classifying people by colors you know uh, green, blue, yellow, and red. These four colors will decide the needs and wants of the person that you are talking to, the person we are presenting to. So some of the goals that we're going to be covering are, you know, understanding uh, which color the person is uh, and making a presentation in line with their needs and wants, uh, which will, you know, lead to a higher conversion rate, so to speak. Um, Please do understand that uh, when I'm talking about colors, I'm talking about, you know, color coding people into different categories, right? Just don't get confused about that. So before we begin uh, any presentation, I like to, before any presentation, I like to give a couple of tips that will help you with your presentations. And one of these is obviously lead the presentation more playfully and take it easy, you know, don't stress. Um, always be in the what I like to call the I'm the daddy position, you know, without the showing off and the snobbish behavior, be in control of what you are presenting. No one likes to listen to, you know, a sulking uh, child who doesn't know what they're talking about. Know your facts and always, you know, always, always be in control of the conversation. Um, hey, Sipa, how are you doing? Welcome. Uh, begin to love questions from potential partners. And I actually covered this if you've been on my webinar yesterday. Um, in handling objections uh, from potential partners, learn to love questions and learn to love the answer no. When, when you hear the answer no, that means there are underlying questions that you can answer, but that is another webinar topic. So the first exercise before we begin, I want you to write down or note down uh, 10 people or five to 10 people, the more the better that you know, you know, this could be family, this could be your friends, this could be your colleagues. And in the duration of this webinar, try to make notes on the 10 people. Right. So throughout me talking and explaining, you can actually, you know, do this exercise. So something more interactive with you guys. Um, you can take a minute and this is going to be recorded. So if you're watching this on YouTube, you can pause this and actually take a minute and write this down. Um, keep in mind throughout the presentation that there is no such thing as a person with a single color. Right. So we talked about, you know, having four colors, which we're going to be covering as well there, like personality wise. Uh, remember now that everyone has a mix, you know, personality is built up on experience after all, but everyone does have a base color and that's what we're going to be tapping into. So Berg, right? B-Y-R-G, blue, yellow, red, and green. These four colors are present in each one of us and life, depending on your experience, creates the proportions of them. Um, our goal is to find the base color, the base shade or the root of the tree from which the personality stems. Um, so that when you need to, you can always work on the base color of your personality. And this is something, you know, sort of personal advice as well. When you see that um, there is something that you need to change in yourself, there is always a base color or a base personality, you know, direction that you're, you know, you follow, um, but you always, you know, sort of adapt to the situations. So Berg, blue, yellow, red, and green. Let's begin with green. So green is the color of people who are, you know, it equals mind, intellect, or what I like to say, the too smart people, the people who are logic oriented, uh, oriented, sorry, top achievers. They're the accountants, financial advisors, lawyers, programmers, engineers. Uh, these are the green people. The way of their way of thinking is, um, you know, their mindset is first think, 
put everything on the shelves and then act. They're extremely calculative, so you need to keep this in mind. Some of the arguments that you could use for the greens are facts, evidence, results, and never pour water in your arguments with them. What I mean by pouring water is never try to sell them something. Never try to, you know, sorry, I'm just going to adjust that. Never try to sell them um, an idea. You know, they're not, they're not, you know, they're not like that. The people who are green, uh, they like facts. They like evidence. Provide that in your arguments and they will be there for you. So some examples could be, you know, when you're showing them sincere systems specifically, by the way, I forgot to mention, you can use all the examples I'm using to, uh, for any of your presentations and specifically, obviously, for presenting sincere systems group to your partners. Um, the, you can say, you know, here's the personal dashboard before and here it is after. So you have to be very practical and you have to showcase these things to them. In six months, our public pool reached $50 million. This is something you can say. In half a year, the company opened three more investment opportunities and soon several more. You know, more informative. Monthly income of the company is 10 to 15%. The income to the investor is from 5 to 10%. That's an example. It obviously fluctuates depending on the company income for the month. Compound interest gives you around this much per year of working with this company. The actual registered capital of the company, not announced, but registered, is right here. And show them, you know, the license that we have in the official presentation of Sincere. We have the registered capital of 5 million pounds, right? Um, what I want you to do, you can take this as a homework, so to speak. You can write down three facts, um, evidence of Sincere Systems Group or whatever it is that you are presenting or whatever company that you represent. Uh, that could work for the green. So if you're representing a marketing agency, write down three facts about your marketing agency uh, that, you know, could work for a person who we classify as a green, uh, you know, too smart person. So typical green characteristics, let's just run through them. Uh, they're very careful. They're neat, always tidy. Everything is in place. Um, they're the kind of person you might know. We all have that, those friends who, you know, you touch their stuff equals a fight. You know, you don't want to touch their stuff. Um, they speak very clearly. They're very, they're, you know, their conversational order is on point and there's not much, you know, topic bouncing, so to speak. They don't jump from place to place. They finish a thought and they keep going. Uh, there's no empty conversations, only facts. Uh, they're the kind of person, these are just personal examples that I included, which is, you know, they're the kind of person with the gas light never goes on. So the, their, their car is always filled up and the phone bill never runs out. Their phone bill is always paid for, you know. Um, they're also always curious. So do, two big questions that uh, green people always ask are how much and how to do something, how and how much, you know, before they go to the movies, typically green people, uh, they check the rating, the actors, the budget, the reviews, the ticket price. And only then they think about, you know, deciding to go to a movie, for example. Um, they're very great at saving money. Uh, they don't lend their money. If they do lend, they only lend it under a signature and with interest. You know, so they're very careful with their cash. So you, you can't go at specifically, you know, selling them an idea of making a lot of money. They're not going to just buy it. You know, they're the kind of people you need to be careful with. And you just need to show them and be honest with them. You know, show them the truth. Show them, you know, when I'm showing partners who I believe are green at the base, um, sincere systems, I know they've never been an investment, you know, so they already know that, you know, about the risk factors and all that stuff. So I'm just like, look. Uh, there's obviously a lot to keep in mind, but here is what I know and here is what how it works for me. So they look at that and they're like, okay, cool. Let me think about it. Greens in business, right? Greens in business, uh, you would see them typically following a theoretical approach. Even if they don't have any practice or experience, they typically go, you know, with the theoretical sort of approach to whatever it is that they're doing. And it works out for them. You know, they are pretty intelligent. Um, you know, their mind, mind wins, they're very switched on. And uh, when they're switched on, they create results. Um, one key, really important aspect is do not answer every single question they ask, even though we know that uh, we need to answer questions. And we talked about this in other webinars, um, that, you know, greens in business, when you're talking business with a green person, do not answer every single question, you know, to the point let them figure it out themselves. They're, they're smart. You know, these people, they, you know, if you don't answer the question, they're going to try to find, find the answer themselves if they are curious. So you can keep that in mind. Um, if a green person is in business, you will see results. 
So anyone recognize themselves? You can, you know, you don't have to tell me. You can just a rhetorical question, but uh, you could maybe, you know, figure it out who's agreeing among your friends. Uh, part of the exercise that we're doing throughout the webinar. Anyways, let's move on. So the blues are all about the party. They're the people of the body, as I like to say, you know, who they are. They're the party animals, they're the active lifestyle, action fanatics, you know, creative. They got lots of hobbies. Typically, you see people who are blue are like, you know, out of the celebrities, they're famous, they're singers, artists, actors. Their mindsets are, you know, what it is is what it is, you know, be a part of the main event and focus not on the result, but the fantasy. You know, these guys are real creative. They're out there, you know, they're just, they're down. They're literally the word party in and of itself. Uh, arguments for blues, you know, that you could use are travel, networking, communications, and hobbies, everything to do with what they like. Um, so for blues, you know, the arguments are travel, networking, communications, and hobbies. An example that you could use for the blues are uh, you know, what we do isn't work. Like if I'm talking about sincere systems and they're like, hey, what, what is the point of all this? You know, like what, what is the point of, you know, telling people about this, you know, or why would I join sincere systems group and, you know, be a, be a partner and an active partner, you know, so, you know, help people understand it and teach people about it. You could say what we do isn't work. It's a hobby and each one can be a star in a stage. So our events are online every single day and offline as well. The next one is in Turkey. Lots of new connections to be made. So the connections aspect and the networking aspect is really big for the people who are, I like to say, blue, right? The party people. They're the people who need to network. Um, you know, you could say something like there's Sincere has great event organization all day long, you know, five-star treatment, whatever trip that they're taking. Um, our business is the business of communication. You can earn by communicating. Would you like to hold meetings online and offline? Then your place is with us, you know? With us, you will meet these kind of people. Join the circle of people who do this, that, and the other, who are investors, who are successful. You know, so write down a couple of people that you think you understand, like our blues, who you've clarified for yourself, are more of the party people, party animals, always on the move. Uh, typical blue characteristics. Now, this is very interesting. Yeah, so they're they're typically late and can get themselves up. And they exaggerate a lot, which isn't bad, by the way. None of anything in this presentation is bad. It's just people are different. And if you understand different people, you can work with them. And, you know, a lot of times as well, like um, um, you've everyone's been in the situation where, you know, our partner or our client or our, someone who, you know, is important uh, to us specifically at that moment in time is late and we get really angry. Maybe we shouldn't, you know, we shouldn't get mad. We should just, you know, understand what kind of, that, that already tells us what kind of a person that person is and we know how to approach them. So typically they can exaggerate a lot. They can make things much more colorful than they are, which is also cool. It means they're creative. You know, their minds are always switched on. Uh, they're the heart of the party, extremely communicative, as I mentioned, love, love travel. They're very active. Hobbies, nature, office parties are their style. Attend themed festivals and events. They're the first row in the presentation. Very humorous and can be interruptive as well, which is great. Uh, they have loads of contacts. Keep in mind, blue people have loads of contacts and lots of, you know, connections, but they just can't monetize them, you know? Like, so blues are extremely valuable in that sense that they are very communicative and they know a lot of people. Um, so they're very talkative, humorous, Always out of cash, easily take treats, swift spenders, uh, but will find cash for a good night out. And I'm sure we all know that one person who never has money, but you see them, you know, at the club on a Friday night, you know, just balling. Some from out of nowhere suddenly, you know, it appears. So if they if they need to find it, they will. And uh, they're the kind of person that will die if you leave to Dubai without them. Uh, they typically create problems for themselves and also like to solve them. So. You know, they, they create something out of nowhere, even though nothing's, you know, nothing's broken and they like to solve it themselves as well. Sort of a, a little bit dramatic in that sense. Um, they're the kind of person that they need to change for the better when everything is already good. So you can actually use this uh, on, um, you know, partners and clients who um, typically, you know, express themselves as blue at the base. So blues in business, usually in business for one to two years without results. Like a lot of people who are blue and uh, they started their own, you know, sort of venture. You could see that they could go one to two years literally without showing any results, if not going into negative. Um, their focus is not on money, but on making contacts, making communications. 
They're the party animals, but business results are lagging. Such people are needed in every team. That's what I believe in. Every team that you're building, you need a blue person, at least one. You know, without without a blue person, you know, the team's just it's it's just lacking that 25% of fun and humorous, uh, you know, activities. There are two types of business, uh, you know, there are two types of business and uh, which I want you to keep in mind for money and for the soul. So you have to decide which one is for you. That's the sort of approach you have to have to, towards the blues. Um, they have realization without monetization. You know, they can also make ideas happen without even putting any money in. So they're very valuable in that sense that they, they can, you know, bring in a, a crowd and just, you know, monetize a project, for example. Uh, it's very difficult to make them do something. Quite lazy, maybe, sometimes. So anyone recognize themselves, maybe you recognize some of your friends in the exercise in the beginning, I mentioned you could write down a lot of some people that you know, you can actually, you know, take a look at that list and see if you found anyone who, you know, could be a blue person. Um, yellow, let's move on. Uh, yellow equals soul, who they are, teachers, medical associates, volunteers, social workers, professional advisors from birth, um, you know, lifeguards. They're your typical, you know, life advice giving people, you know, their mindset is kindness and people come first, very anti-selfish, can't say no, and might even be a little bit, you know, you, but they might give in to self-blame from time to time. If they say no, they feel bad, those kind of people. We all know those kind of people. So the arguments for yellows that you can use is, you know, people, relationships, and love. It's that simple. So some examples could be, can you imagine how many people we will help? How many people will become financially independent with Sincere Systems Group? This is a kind of sentence that you can use on them. Um, the all you need is love sentence. You know, we create workspace for others. In our company, we value relationship building. Uh, everyone here helps each other succeed. Uh, we value our partners and investors. Our goal is to lead people to financial freedom. So again, write down three facts or evidence of your company or Sincere Systems Group that could be working for people who are yellow, right? Typical yellow characteristics. They're very kind, so always ready to help, uh, take on responsibilities. They're often cheated. If they did get tricked, they won't tell anyone. Um, they're the kind of person that could lend money and might never get it back. Uh, they love everyone but themselves. They're very quiet, never let you down. So very, uh, we can, we notice that they're very reliable people. These G people are generally good people, you know, in, in the full sense of, you know, the phrase, um, even if no money, they will go borrow just so they don't create discomfort, you know, just so they don't let you down. And I actually respect that about people who, who do that. That is very rare to find now. In an elevator, they, they could be the first one to go into the elevator, but if there's too many people, they will be the first one to leave. You know, helps clean up when visiting friends. Let's go to the movies. No, if like if you're going to the movies with a person who's yellow and you're like, let's go to the movies. And they say no. And you just like say, please. And they say, sure, let's go. You know, just because you you really want them to go. Um, they speak quietly and they're very well mannered. So yellows in business, uh, they're extremely great for team building. You know, they will never leave a man behind. They're really, you know, there for everyone. Yellows are the glue to a team, I like to say, you know, we'll handle everything, dissolve arguments, and help everyone. They're like the big, you know, the sort of the, the, the care bear of any team, of any, you know, company. If you have yellows, that's great because these people, you know, typically, you know, in uh, TV shows, it's a horrible example about TV shows, but in TV shows, we see, um, you know, the secretaries at like as at the companies that are being filmed like tv series about you know office life or and you know police officer sort of tv shows we see the secretary is always being like these kind uh round ladies who are just like ready to help and always say good morning and you know would you like a coffee you know they're like so nice and just like these are the yellows you know they're just so cool um can they can be trusted with tasks so they won't really let you down ever um yellows you know Yellows should learn to not not to borrow, but to invest into themselves um, and will trust other people with their contacts. So these people are willing to connect you always to others, you know, with ha without having to, you know, become a little greedy or jealous or anything. They're really open. You can work directly with them. So who recognize themselves as a yellow person? Um, you can write that down as well in our exercise next to your list of friends and family who you believe are yellow at the base. Let's move on. 
So reds, strong in the heart, who they are, athletes, businessmen, entrepreneurs, innovators, leaders, investors. The mindset is, I am where the money is. We'll achieve results no matter what. Quick decision makers never owe anyone anything. They decide attitude. They have a slight egoistic manner. It's all about me, me first. First place is all about me. Um, the arguments for reds are big checks. You know, you that's what that's what you tell reds. If you know he's a red from what I just told you, just tell him there's a lot of money to be made in it because that's all that they need most of the time. Um, as well as becoming first. For example, you have um, let's say you're you know you know you're you're teaching someone about sincere and they're the first in their community uh, or their city or their village or their you know town or whatever it is they are. Uh, to know about, you know, sincere systems, for example, you could be, you know, you could be the first to invest in this from your community, from your town, from your city. That would be really cool, uh, you know, and, the, you know, so facts and kindness will lead to the decision, not arguments. Um, when you're with, talking with reds, you need to be either green or yellow. You know, you need to be the green or yellow with them. Never argue with them. Tell them what they have to do and need to do something never tell reds what to do that's the big one just don't tell them what they need to do you know let them you know feel the power let them go up and you will be the first in town imagine how much money you could make i bet you that two months before the dubai trip that you could make 13 percent return on investment most probably that won't be possible that's something you could you know you could say to them you know that's you probably won't be able to do that you know a sort of challenge they like a challenge. Reds are always down to, you know, prove someone wrong. It's like they're animals, you know. Our goal, lead people to financial freedom. Simple, you know, simple, easy. That's what they like. Join us while your friends haven't asked you to. You know, join us before your friends ask you to join us, you know. So these are the sort of arguments that you can also write down. Three facts, evidence of sincere systems or whatever company it is uh, that you work for uh, that would work for the Reds. So typical red characteristics are I, you know, the word I, first place, conversation is always held in first person, you know, me, 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 number one priority is always money, first people to receive information, first to be on the leaderboard, you know, there are first people ranked, uh, work for themselves, typically C students, <laughs> bad at taking orders, they self-affirm through weak people, better to grow partners above your level and then raise them to the first place. So what that means is, um, they they can they're the type of person that could uh, grow a team or grow a business and make everyone better than themselves you know feel better about themselves and then just overtake them you know just to prove that they're to themselves that they're like so awesome you know so this is the type of red mentality there's nothing bad about it it's just people are different we have to you know work with everyone because we're you know we're awesome as, as well we want to work with everyone very fast decision makers uh, hungry for first place, can't rest, sometimes don't finish what they started. That's bad, but, you know, it happens. Always too less. They're never happy. You know, they're never happy. They got a lot of money. They're not happy. You know, they got all the cars they want. They got all, you know, they got a wife. They got kids. They're not happy. They need something more. They need business. They need more and more and more. They love their environment. So whatever environment a red is in, typically uh, this environment is created around them and they absolutely love it. You know, so this is a really important thing to keep in mind when working with a red. So Reds in business, they're the quickest to take cities over. If we're talking about affiliate marketing, Reds are the, you know, quick to take cities over, extremely qualified, uh, know the market, results at any price. You know, they will do anything to get the results that they set out to do. They're good at selling and buying the idea of money, which is really important because the other colors aren't as good at specifically this point, good at selling and, buy the, and buy, buying the idea of money. So when they're working with partners, um, they're teaching about how money works. Uh, they're extremely good at that. Extremely money makers at heart, easy spenders, will make more tomorrow mentality. So they could spend all the money they earned in one day and be like, whatever, I'll just make more tomorrow. You know, that's the sort, that's reds right there. Can't work below someone or in a team, which doesn't mean that they shouldn't be in your team. Um, it's just that they're they're not the person to rely on on being a super cool teammate or team member. They're probably going to be there for the competition. You know, they're sort of the create their own thing type of people. They're very ambitious and, and they are leaders in MLM. We typically see red people are leaders in multi-level marketing. So who recognizes themselves? You can write them down and write down who out of your list or your friends or, you know, just keep it in mind as well, just as an exercise. Who have you recognized as a red person? So. 
For teamwork, let's move on. We've got motivation in the team. You need to know which buttons to press with which type of people, right? So for yellows, when you know you're talking to them, try to push on, you know, when you're talking to these people, you need to push on certain things, on certain topics and make them, you know, feel, uh, you know, to get them into it, you know, to get them to trust you, to work with you, to convince them, you know, that you're with them on one, you know, on one level. Uh, people are great, but first learn to love yourself. This is for yellow people. Buy yourself something expensive. Don't lend money to anyone. Money won't come until you learn to love yourself. So with yellows, you want to promote the idea of, you know, getting to love themselves, you know, making sure that they, you know, understand themselves more. Maybe spend some money on themselves. Maybe, you know, they should take themselves out instead of, you know, always helping people. Why not think about, you know, themselves for a bit? So they... Some people uh, lack sort of the teamwork and, you know, the, you know, the approach, the team approach, so to speak, the team mindset. Uh, some people, like in this case, people with a base yellow shade um, lack the sort of selfishness, you know. A little bit of selfishness is always good. You need to think about yourself first. That's, you know, my opinion. But you need to at least have that in your mind. For blues... Uh, leave the party for now, business first, party later. So this is the, you know, you need to push them. If you're working with a blue, you need to push them to, you know, forget about being, you know, all, you know, party and fun. It's all great and fun, but let's do some work first. Let's, that's business. Let's, you know, a lot of you who, you know, went to uni, uh, college days, this is perfect, by the way, like college days, actually, you can relate this entire presentation to, you know, a, a growing um, to young people because young people, they progress very quickly from, you know, one color to another, from one experience to another. Um, they, they change very quickly, drastically. So you can actually notice these colors literally appearing. I'm sure if you've studied in, you know, in school, in university, you can straight away think of a person who's blue, who's yellow, who's green, um, you know, there's always the greens in the class, you know, answering who are like, they know everything, you know, so for greens, um, the way you need to, you know, work with them is stop talking to your brain. You know, you, you tell them, you know, stop talking to your brain. Stop talking. Stop keeping it inside your head. Get practical. Let's do something. You know, let's do something. Push them towards doing something because if they do do something, they do it very well. You know, greens are typically, you know, they they take a step back and they watch everything happen. But uh, that's because they overthink things. Typically, green people, you know, they overthink a lot. The that's not bad. It's just, you know, you, you want to work with them, right? You want to get them to become partners of sincere systems group, or you want to, you know, close a deal with them. So you need to sort of get practical and let's, let's move on, you know, push them towards action. Uh, so for reds, but this, this is, I think the video is back. Yes. Okay. Can anyone, can everyone hear me? Can you put a little plus sign? Or something the it's still recording but I, i'm not sure if you guys can see me anyways uh for the reds they should stop you know showing off great perfect thank you anastasia uh don't argue don't prove anything to anyone try not to use the i or me when working with potential partners so this is what you tell reds if you have reds on your team you want to tell them you know don't show off you don't need to sell them anything bro just don't argue you know, don't prove anything to anyone because reds are like that. You know, they like to push ideas. They like to, you know, you will, you know, they're really ambitious, really harsh, you know, leaders. Um, you need to tell them not to use the words I and me when presenting to people, because as you can see, there are four colors and three of those colors do not take that. You know, it's only the reds that the I and me stuff works for. And even then, if you're a red person and you're presenting to a red person, you cannot present as a red person. You need to be a green or a blue Remember, we spoke about this in the previous slide, I believe. Uh, yes, right here, right here, right? Become green and yellow when with them. So when you're, when you're with, with a red, you need to be a Again. There you go. Okay, we're back, cool. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit buggy today. Right, okay. So for reds, again, sorry about the buffering, but uh, for reds, don't argue, don't prove anything. Try not to use the word I or me when working with potential partners. So this is what this is what I covered is what you should tell your team when you are working with them, when you are helping them understand, you know, how to work with other people. At the end of the day, remember this extremely important quote, 
we are teachers teaching teachers to teach. Okay, we are teaching teachers to teach. Okay, so this is the point, you know, where we're, we're trying to teach someone uh, how to teach a person. We're not just there like, hey, this is, you know, our company or this is what we're doing great about it. You know, we're telling them, hey, you know, Sincere Systems is great, for example, or whatever company you represent. But that's not the only thing you need to understand how this works and this works and this works and this works so that you can tell other people how it works. You know, that's the point. Uh, so if you're into affiliate marketing, for example, this is extremely important because the rule number one of affiliate marketing is you're not teaching just to teach people. You're teaching them to teach other people. That's the point. Conclusion. So every single one of these colors is great in a team, right? Even though they're extremely different, all of them, they're all very great in the team. In every person, there are several colors. Ideally, we want 25% of each color, right? We want everything to be equal and balanced out, but that's not possible. So we're all, that's why we have you know, a lot of different people in the world. So some strong colors appear, you know, some people are more red than they are blue, they're more yellow than they are red. So if you can work with these people and figure out what color they are and what characteristics they have and provide the arguments and talk with them specifically, you know, the way that you understood them. Um, so for example, you know, two reds in a family is like a huge problem. Just imagine two reds in a family situation. That's really bad. Like that's, that's a headache, man. Like seriously, like that's really harsh. But if you got two reds in business, that's amazing because you've got two really ambitious leader, you know, leadership driven, first place driven people who are working in your business or working at the top of the business. Uh, these guys are going to be bringing everything up. These guys are going to be, you know, doing crazy things, you know. Um, so at a presentation, these are just some tips, tips tricks, tips and tricks. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, call blues to the front seat at presentation. So try to sit the blues down in the front, okay? Um, the, the yellows, are the, because they're more, you know, interactive, you know, the blues are the party animals. They like to interact and ask you know, questions and stuff. The yellows at the back, okay? Because they're just, that's the, they don't want to, they don't want to be seen, but they're, they're always down for it. Um, they want to see everything that goes on. The reds will most likely leave the presentation anyway. So just, it's fine. You know, the reds are like, They'll come in for five minutes and they'll leave. Those are reds. So when someone does that on your presentation, don't be upset. Just know that that is a red, like right there. Unless he's got something really serious, if he just walks out of your presentation on a very interesting bit, for example, he's just like that. That's his personality. There's nothing wrong with it. But you know, and you've already seen that, and you can use that. You know, you can use that knowledge. So when you know more about people, what did I say in my last webinar? Saifa would know, Anastasia would know that. Yesterday I had a webinar and I spoke about the more information you know, the more data you have on a person, the better you can handle objections, questions, um, you know, any presentation nuances that you might face. Um, so this is really cool. Um, so your presentation, oh, sorry, greens will sit either in the back or they won't come at all. So the, the thing with greens is you need, you need a personal approach with them. They're the, you know, they're, they're the logic driven and logic oriented guys and girls. Um, they will typically want a little bit of, you know, space and they won't be with the crowd. They're the kind of people who, you know, they're just too smart for everyone. They got to sit down. You got to work with them, talk to them personally. So they either won't come or they're just going to sit in the back. They're not going to interact at all. Um, so your presentation, you might have understood already, should be aimed at blues and yellows because these are, you know, the, the ones who are going to be building up your team. These people are extremely good for team building and team maintenance. And team maintenance, I mean, you know, the more people you have in your team, the more people that you're working with, uh, you want someone to, you know, help you control those people. And, you know, if there's an argument and you're not around to solve it, but you've got your yellows always there like, guys, cool down. It's all cool. You know, we're all friends up in here, you know, um, and you've got your blues who are always networking, always communicating, you know, always down for the action. Uh, not so much for the reds and greens. So having them in the team is very important because it's results driven, first and foremost. Uh, secondly, because they're very cool in terms of, you know, promoting your business and moving it forward, um, but not necessarily, you know, aiming a specific presentation for a, like a big group of people. You don't necessarily have to aim it at reds and greens. They will come through anyway. If they like what you say either way, they will come through, you know, but you should aim it at blues and yellows. Um, us speakers, right? So us, myself included, and those of us who are, you know, promoting a company, we're in sales and marketing, we're 
you know, we're directing a company of our own or we're working in affiliate marketing, whatever it is that we're doing uh, and we're presenting something, we have to be multicolored in order to attract everyone and keep harmony in the team. Uh, to continue the life of the team, you need to, you know, take in all of those colors. You need to be blue, red, yellow, green. You need to take everything in. You need to be able to work with every single one of those colors, every single one of those types of people, because that is what's going to get you results. And that's the only way that you're going to be able to handle the team. So this presentation sort of, you know, highlights what, what there is, how to work with each one, each and every one of them. And uh, this this should help you understand why you, if you're presenting yourself, you need to be, you know, everyone's friend. You need to be friends with everyone. Not necessarily in, in some situations, I'm saying in this specific situation where you're presenting yourself or presenting a company. So let's conclude the presentation. It's not too long today. It's pretty short and sweet. What color are you and what did you manage to find out? So these are sort of the learning outcomes that we're having. We always have learning objectives and outcomes. You know, what color are you? Did you manage to find out throughout the presentation? What was the most valuable thing that you learned today? And what are your insights that you gained? So you, you can write them down in the chat or you can just chill and keep it in your head. It's all rhetorical. But the point is, these are the outcomes that we are supposed to be, you know, getting here. Uh, some insights, perhaps you've learned something very valuable. Um, yeah. Oh, OK. Let's there's one more slide. How to check quickly. This this is like a post tip sort of PS, you know, post scriptum. Um, how to really quickly check, like really quickly check if what color a person is. So if the word you're a blue, say for you're a party animal. I, I love it. I love it, man. You're a G. I love it. So how to quickly check. If you hear the word me a lot, that's base red. Their base is red. No matter how they act, if, they, if they're so, I, 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 me, 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 that's base red right there. You don't even need to think about it. It's right there. The second in line, uh, if, if they're the person who's second in line and sort of waiting for the first person to come through, uh, that's a blue person. You know, blue person, they're party animals. They're going to ask around what's going on. They're always going to get into the, you know, into the theme. Like Safer, for example, he's always down for everything. He's down for the action. I love it. You know, so that's a blue person. Green, let me see what happens and think about it. So if you hear someone say, let me see what happens. Let me see these guys do it and let me, you know, think about it. That's a green person. You don't need to push them. You don't need to answer every single one of their questions. You can just provide them facts and details and they will do their research all themselves. You don't even need to like work with them too much. You just need a personal approach with them and understand their needs. Uh, yellows are the kind of people who let everyone go first. So if, if they're, you're in line, you know, there's a line, you're signing books. They're going to let everyone go first. I'm going to be the last one to come up and ask questions and work with you. So. Just keep that in mind. This is how you can quickly check what kind of people are there. I want to wish you many active team members and happy partnerships and business deals and success, success, success from Sincere Systems Group, guys. Thank you so much for attending the webinar, and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to finish the recording there and continue with questions on the chat. Great. Awesome, guys.